been to the one. Oh and my god, why does this guy keep coming up in my recommendations? Welcome to the murder show. I hate this freaking guy. And all he does is complain about the game and complain about the game. Uh, bitching and moaning. Just mad because you're trash. And you just need to adapt to the game. And shut up. Stop complaining. Just play the freaking game and get good. Get good? Yeah. Can you spell it? Uh, stupid. You don't spell get good. G-I-T-G-U-D. Goddamn fool. Hey, stop bullying me. No, stop bullying me. Every time I drop a video, you in the comment section with the same old shit. Get good this. Just adapt to that. Do you even play this game? Do you even play this game? Or are you like Joseph? Developer of Modern Warfare, but you like playing World of Tanks and shit. Come on, man. You know what I think it is? I think Activision and Infinity Ward have fake people out here with fake profiles, dropping fake comments, just to offset all of the real shit that's being said about the game out here, because they're afraid that we're going to hurt sales or something. I don't know what y'all think. Yeah, I think you're full of shit, Murder Show. Always complaining about campers, but look at you. Yeah, you're doing the same exact thing. Well, ain't that what y'all call adapting? Yeah. Ain't that what you call get good? Because, spoiler alert, Billy Goat, I haven't died yet. I'm still alive. I have a Harrier in my back pocket. <laughs> Don't tell me to get good. I been good at this game. I've been going flawless. Dropping nukes and all this type of shit since Black Ops 2. Oh my god, here we go. Back to the good old days. Your first card was Black Ops 3. You don't even know what card is. <laughs> Out here trying to tell somebody to get good, bitch. You just got good two months ago when the game dropped. <laughs> Developer had to design a game around a punk bitch who couldn't play for you to finally get good. Ain't the nerve of y'all to come out here telling us we have been good for years, spanking y'all out of the lobby with no teeth in your mouth to get good. The, the disrespect. You look, I can't reach through this internet and knock the fluff out of your ass, Cabbage Patch. Uh, Mom, this guy's saying bad things on the internet. What, you need a safe place? You need the key to the panic room? How about a warm glass of milk and a nice bubble bath before you lay it down to sleep early? Because you definitely need a nap. Oh, my God. This guy has one good game and thinks he's nade shot. Actually, I'm the Mark of J. And after this game, I got one even better. So hold on to your seat and don't move your feet, baby. It's murder time. Damn! <laughs> Almost flawless. <laughs> Almost flawless. But anyway, like I say, don't tell me to get good. Bitch, I've been good. Huh? Y'all think these people out here are real or what? You think they real people? You, you think they might be the developers? You know, it's a lot of people that work at these studios yet. I mean, you got everybody from, you know, the, the heads. You got the assistants. Man, you got the people that's painting the walls out here. You got the people who design the walls. You got the dude who putting the blades of grass in. You know, they probably are all feeling some type of way about the game. You know, like it's their baby and shit. They out here getting all, getting their feelings really hurt. They be having really hurt feelings in the damn comment section over you just keeping it real about the game. And you can tell they, they feelings be hurt because they be trying to say mean and nasty things, you know. Trash. And, and hurt people try to hurt others. So, you know, I don't understand. Like, is it is, is, is your father a developer? You're a developer, son. You know, a son don't never think that his father does anything wrong. They just worship and just glorify. I love my daddy. Daddy can do no wrong. And we out here hating on daddy. Hey, stop bullying my dad. It's a freaking great game. You just need to get good. Maybe that's what it is. These are developer sons. <laughs> like eight years old and shit. They can't even spell right. <laughs> G-I-T-G-U-D. Come on, bro. Hey. It's some dumbass eighth grade uh, eight year olds too. Hey, stop bullying me. Lord have mercy. What is going on out here? What y'all think? Developers or developer sons? I think it might be a mix of both. And the way some people be acting, bro, with all that energy for this shit, they got to be getting a paycheck. They got to be getting a paycheck, man. I don't know, man. Am I tripping? Talk to me in the comment section. Let me know. And what's up with skill-based matchmaking out here? Because you probably wondering, God damn, boy, you going ham in these gameplays, huh? I mean, you know how it is. I 
do the same shit every game. Some games it work, some games it don't. But one thing I did notice in the last couple sessions I had, uh, not necessarily the last one, but the one before that, you know, it, that session that you always remember, it's that session that keeps you coming back to the game. I think I think what it is is a sympathy session. Because the way skill-based matchmaking normally be working out here, as soon as you have just one good game, then they putting you in the MLG lobbies. Immediately, after one good game, I'll be like, damn, son. I can't at least get five good games in the good lobby before you kick me out. One good game, you back in the sweat fest. But I noticed the other day that I was having good game after good game after good game after good game. I, I, and I was live streaming it too. It was crazy. For me, that stream that day, it felt like the skill-based matchmaking was toned all the way down. Maybe not turn all the way off, but toned down to the point it felt like it wasn't even there. And it was like that for hours and hours and hours. And I've seen other people, you know, bring it up saying it feel like skill-based matchmaking was toned down for them. And then you have, you know, other people get on and try it out and be like, oh, hell no, nah, they ain't turned down shit. I just went 4-17. I had to rage quit the light the, the whole lot. So, you know... What I think is that they may be experimenting here and there, you know, turning it, toning it down for one group of people this week, another group of people the next week, or maybe it was because I had had, you know, a couple of hours of playing the game and and having a low score per score score. Uh, God damn it, blah, 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 blah. having a low score per minute. You know what I'm saying? Uh, possibly going negative because I was playing hardcore shoot house trying to get mount kills and shit you know uh, working on gun camos because it was double XP weekend maybe it was that you know me just trying to find enjoyment from unlocking camos so I didn't care if I was doing bad so I just continued to play and stay in the lobbies and and, and take my bad game if I was having one because I was really just grinding for camos was these good lobbies or reward for all that punishment I took. I don't know, man, but it's something. It's something strange, bro. I, it, but whatever it is, I wish that they would leave it like that. Because if the game played like this every day, man, I would play this shit every day. I would enjoy it. I would look forward to it. This session that these two gameplays come from, actually, these are two different sessions. This gameplay is from the first session. Shoot house is from the second session. So, you know, honestly, skill-based matchmaker to me, it definitely feel like it been toned down because after going flawless the day before, I should have never been able to make it into a lobby where I could go 30 and 1. Not saying I'm not good enough to do that, but the way skill-based matchmaker work out here, they don't allow that. Trust me, they going to find somebody better than you to shut you down should you need to be shut down, huh? But y'all holla at me, man. Let me know what's your experience with it. You know, I think they out here tinkering and trying shit out all the time, man. But uh, this was a great session. They out here telling us to get good, but we've been good. The irony. With skill-based matchmaking in the game, the better you are, the harder the game becomes for you. Whether it's the game finding you tougher competition or the game just nerfing your bullets or your enemies' hitboxes all together. Whatever it takes. They got all kind of sneaky algorithms and shit underlined, un uh, you know what I'm saying, putting in work. It's a dirty world out here. But I tell you what, it looked like I didn't goddamn adapt it, huh? I think I didn't figure it out. You got to stop moving when you don't have dead silence pop. <laughs> and just hold it down. If you can't stop rushing, then rush around your camping grounds like you see me doing here. And give you the same satisfaction. Boy, I rush the shit out of my area. And knock you out of yours. But, uh, beautiful drop shot, huh? Don't tell me to get good. Bitch, I been good. 30 and 0, baby. Fuck with your boy. 
been doing this. Developers' sons, developers, paid actors. Who are you, motherfuckers? And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to pimp slap the piss out of that like button for your boy. Leave me a comment. And be sure to hit that motherfucker subscribe button and don't miss none of this call to do the real shit. It's the murder show. Fuck with me. <laughs>